go sunning. It's so good for you. Let's go sunning. Need the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you breaking news from the observatory at Rockwell. I, in over 20 years of broadcasting, I'm at a loss for words. I can only describe what I'm seeing as not from this earth. Something is emerging out of the spacecraft. It's raising its hand. Perhaps a sign of peace. No! We are under attack! Ladies and gentlemen, due to technical difficulties, we are unable to continue the broadcast from the Rockwell Observatory. Pathetic humans. Good morning. Let's go sunning. It's so good for you. Let's go sunning. Need the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you breaking news from the observatory at Rockwell. I, in over 20 years of broadcasting, I'm at a loss for. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. Go, wait, stop the countdown. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? 
Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured. Maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some graniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Oh, don't mind me. I am only a fictional character in a simulated universe, after all. I haven't anything better to do, really. I'm just a bunch of electrons fluttering about inside your console, and a few hundred kilobytes of data stored on your DAH disk. Don't pay any attention to me! Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? Something for your gun? Or a brain implant? Wise choice. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? Yes, your saucer is in need of some improvement. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Here's the key. A saucer upgrade? They say about a furon with a really step right up. Thank you. 
Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! You may look and aim by physically manipulating the right analog stick. You can move about the area you... analog stick. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip move. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <coughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <coughs> Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furon 
Titans have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then hold the L1 button. Keep holding, then tap the triangle button to lift the target. Hold L1 button, then hurl the bovines by double tapping triangle button. My brain is getting weaker, weaker. Martha, you didn't tell me we's having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother... Martha, give me the shotgun! Attention. You do, in fact, have weapons. Just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Give that puny farmer a taste. of the old Zapomatic. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! Oh, the furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Stop! I'm gonna come out! You can't do this! Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! left analog stick to propel the saucer forwards and backwards, and a strafe left and right. To turn the saucer, use the right analog stick.
Batman! Move! 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 I don't know, but I've been told Joe McCarthy's good at Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on.
entire Korean village. You think I'm scared? Of you? <laughs> you little freak! Uh. Right Nobody ever won a war by dying for his country. Won the war by making some other person die for his country. Shotgun, I gotta kill me a varmint. I'm not afraid of you, space boy. You gotta get back to a better firing position. Say hello to my little friend.
sufficient for my research and testing purposes. Ah, oh, science!
face. You're trespassing on my property. <laughs> 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 Imagination. Oh. You want what?
you don't have good work, Crypto. Crypto, you don't. You have returned to the invasion site. Crypto, you don't have authorization to leave. You have returned to the invasion site.
Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and... nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Step right up. Just what you need. A bigger gun. Well, you could learn to better utilize your abilities. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little... Here's the keys, and do be careful with this one, double O. I mean, crip. Step right up. Weapon... Roswell, Rockwell... Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture?
aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Lenny knows what he's a-doing with that mouse and those men. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va-boom! I like that Nixon. I got a feeling he's gonna make us cops popular again. What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Adlai Smadley. That guy's a smarty pants. Give me the dumber candidate every time. I voted for Huffman, didn't I? Someday they'll probably be somebody's mother. Whoa. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto! Beat your heart out, Lana Turner. You've got nothing on me. My mind says Huffman, but my stomach says Eisenhower. Huh. I don't know what that means, really. But I bet Ike tastes like a cheeseburger. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Hey there! All right, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. <laughs> Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel you through like this puppy so I can get down me, to the real you? business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. I love a man in uniform. Oh, wait. I am a man in uniform. <laughs> What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I call town and country. A house in the suburbs, a loving wife, a happy family, mowing on Saturday, church on Sundays, working for my daily bread, and a shed full of power tools. 
What more can a man want? Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Vavoom. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go. So that's what they mean by a roll in the hay. Seems like a whole lot of nothing to me. Keep it together, man. Keep it together. Evildoers are everywhere. Which way? Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Vavoom. I am the law! Whoa! This is just like my dream! Can't wait! La 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 la! La 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 la! La 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 la! And lots of wavy hair like Libra! Wait a minute. Where am I? Uh, this sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest! Uh oh! Uh oh! What's happening? It's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. So vocal, so responsive. This is gonna be good. Never fails. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Disturbances on the increase. Extra patrols have been sent to investigate.
If only I could confess my secret love for Joe Bob. Joe Bob the chicken, that is. Damn, I love that animal. <laughs> to serve and protect, to serve and protect, to serve and protect, to swerve and defect, oh, to curve and perfect. Damn it, I lost it. I think I'll go take it. Bring it on, bad guys. I'm going all Joe Friday. I have a dragnet out for evildoers. Crypto, you don't have authorization to leave. Return to the mission area at once. You have returned to the invasion site. Crypto, you don't have all you have returned to the invasion site.
can't we all just get along? I like Ike fine, but I'd turn tricks for Nixon. Huffman don't even rate a mention. It's a good day to use excessive force. Heck, every day is a good day for excessive force. Crypto, you you have returned to the invasion site. So, want something for your gun? Or a brain? I'll see your DNA and raise you one shiny new upgrade. So, what would you like to upgrade, you little saucer upgrade it is? And Crypto... Try not to wreck this one, would you? So, what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Thank you. 